Hey everybody, Retro Geek Dad here, back with another toy review. This time we are looking at the Batman Earth 2. Uh, this is from McFarlane Toys from the DC Multiverse. Uh, this is also like the um, female uh, evil Batman uh, with the Aquaman kind of powers. <clears throat> this is uh, based off of the Dark Knight series, the Dark Knight's Metal comic book series um i picked this up on clearance at target uh it was like 12 bucks i think um so it's not too bad um i kind of like the figure just based on the appearance of it um it's kind of a gnarly looking figure but uh i kind of want to do a unboxing you know go over the packaging unboxing review the figure and uh check it out okay so we're gonna go ahead and Take a quick look at the packaging. So I've got my macro macro lens here. There's some up close stuff. So so we've got the Batman Earth 2. Have all the legal stuff here on the bottom. The UPC code. Sorry, I'm getting in my own light. And then on the back. See if I can do something with the lighting here. That's a little better, I think. Uh, on the back, we've got a nice little put, uh, picture here. Um, of course, this is from the uh, Dark Knight's Metal comic book arc. Um, kind of a multiverse, evil multiverse of Batman. Batman. Um, each one of them had a DC power. Or a Justice League power, um, and this particular one had Aquaman's power, so kind of like an evil Aquaman slash Bat Batman girl. It was it was kind of a crazy story. It was really good. Uh, highly recommend it. Um, on the bottom here, we've got really tiny, tiny font. Let's see. Probably can't even see that. Um, Batman. Uh, this is Batman. Tom McFarlane. Um, Robin. Earth 22. So that's the Batman who laughs with the uh, evil Robins. Uh, we have Superman. Uh, Death Stroke. And another Batman. Looks like from the Arkham games. Um, the font's really tiny on those. But take a look at the side of the packaging. So we have just uh, where it says Batman Earth 2, uh, Dark Knight's Metal on the top. It's the logo from the comic series. And of course, it's a McFarlane toy. Uh, 22 moving parts. So it's going to be really cool to kind of get into and check it out. So we'll go ahead and we'll open it up. Uh, there's a little tape here at the bottom. There's attempt to open it. Slide her out. We do have a uh, little card here and stand. this out because it's got a attachment but it's always a pain to kind of pull that out there we go. do the same with the cord Let me see if I can do something about the lighting because I'm in my own shadow here. Just give me a second. Okay, hopefully that'll help some. Um, so with the cord, I have the uh, same picture that was on the back of the packaging. And then on the other side, we have just like a little data file. 
if you wanted to read that, you could pause it. But the drowned, yeah, that's that's what they had referred to this character in the comics was the drowned. Um, the stand, just your basic McFarland stand, real thin, kind of plastic. DC logo. So, let's see if I adjust my light here. So with the figure. Uh, we've got a few strands, um, <coughs> excuse me, we have a few of these little plastic you know, holder thingies. Cut those off real quick. Might be up. Yep. And she does have the trident. something different using an external light trying to see if that'll help any so arm is all the way twisted around with the shoulder joints facing up so there we go so right off the bat I'm noticing that like her torso is um, kind of pre-molded Kind of in that position, like there's no articulation really in the torso, um, like with her hair, because of how it's molded. There's really not a lot of movement in the head. Um, kind of just very little movement. Uh, check out some of the details in the outfit. So we have her little necklace, uh, her eyepiece, little eye patch thing. Some of the texture on the outfit. Looks like her skirt is made out of like seaweed. Uh, the hair is like kind of a green to it, kind of like an algae green. And the boots have a texture on them. Clubs. There is like some scars on her face. I'm not sure if those are coming through at all. But it's a really cool figure. Really detailed. Uh, let's check out articulation. Uh, like I previously said, you know, her head, <coughs> excuse me, her head doesn't have much movement because of the hair. So it's more of like a posable, you know, kind of a display figure, if you will. Um, the arms are on a ball joint. We do have some pretty good movement there. Um, I don't know if you can see inside of the joint there. There's the connector pin. Uh, we have some twist here. At the top of the forearm. Uh, elbows are double jointed. We have movement. We don't have movement here. At the wrist. Or at the forearm. Uh, the wrist... We do have some turning there, so it's a double pin, so there's movement here and movement here. And we do have the wrist rocker. Uh, like I said, there's no, there's no real movement in the waist. Uh, legs are on the, like a ball joint, so there is some movement, but the skirt keeps the movement limited. We do have back and forth. Now the joints do kind of, um, they kind of click into place. Um, so that's pretty good as far as posing goes. The knees are double jointed. And then we have the ankles. Which the ankles, there's some movement here and here. So they both move independently. Uh, we have back and forth some. Just because it hits on the plastic there. And on the back, the toes. We do have some movement in the toes. I just find these toe articulations just kind of silly because you got the big part of the bottom of there. So I'm going to show it. Yeah, that little piece right there that sticks out kind of ruins it. But <clears throat> articulation is not too bad. It's more of a, like a static figure, I guess. You know, it's meant to be stuck in a pose. Um, 
kind of like how it was in the packaging. So there's not a whole lot of playable, you know, movement here. Um, just take a look at the Trident. Now the Trident is in a, a, like a gold plastic, molded in gold. Um, got some pretty good detail. With the ridges and stuff. In the back of it. So, not too bad. Pretty cool. <clears throat> and her hands are open so she can hold it. Um, mainly just with the one hand because the other hand's open. Kind of a clawing action. So she can really only hold it with one hand. Um, so yeah. So she can't dual, you know, hold it with both hands. I mean, you probably could just take some finagling. But that's more like that evil villain claw hand. So she can't hold it, it's just kind of loose in her hand. But let's check out the base. So she does have the peg holes on the bottom. Take some wiggling. It does stand pretty good, it just takes you know some posing and stuff. Um, I don't know, in my opinion, this is one of those figures that you're probably going to leave in the package um, unless you're you know, wanting to display it with the others or something. <coughs> Excuse me, but pretty cool figure, pretty detailed. I mean, I, I like it just because of you know, the detail and the work. I mean, you can really kind of see how grungy and kind of, you know, the depths of the sea kind of look it is. So, I really like it. So, it's a cool figure. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, it's just a real simple one. But, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you again next time.